Um, we are now here at the game at Tavernicle and with me are on one side. Hi, uh, I am uh, Plume. Uh, I'm uh, composing the music for, for the game. And on the other side? Uh, I'm Francois and I'm uh, the level designer of uh, Dama Dama Games uh, who works on uh, Tavernacle. Okay, and we are now watching you two battle each other or were you playing in co-op? Uh, sorry? Can you just uh, <laughs> are you playing now against each other or in co-op? No, uh, it's a co-op game. Uh, it's not um, a game um, with uh, the competitive things. We need to, um, to build uh, some uh, tower because it's a, it's a co-op tower defense. Um, we made um, a tower defense like you never, uh, you never know. It's a unique tower defense and you play in co-op with your friends. It's like uh, overcooked, but with tower defense compound. Okay, and uh, so less about cooking things, but about defending. And there are some evil mobs who are going to attack us soon. Do we see something about this right now? Yeah, that's exactly that. Uh, there is some monster who attack uh, our tavern and uh, we are dwarfs. So the most important things for a dwarf is to protect uh, uh, his tavern. And uh, if monsters come, we need to kill them. Okay, I see. And uh, you said you are the uh, music designer. So um, we are recording the music, but we are not hearing it right now. So at least I'm not hearing it. Uh, can you tell us something about that? Uh, yes, uh, so for, for me actually, uh, the, the first thing is that uh, for me it's my first uh, uh, long-term uh, project uh, uh, in terms of uh, composing music for a game. Um, and um, uh, what can I say? Um, uh, well, uh, I, this is mostly a kind of uh, orchestral uh, music uh, that I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, and that is increasing uh, in intensity um, along the, uh, the waves uh, of enemies. Okay, so we will probably hear about this as it's going to be worse that the music is going to change. Uh, yes, exactly. Well, it's not exactly adaptive music because uh, uh, the waves uh, of enemies are, are coming uh, in a um, um, uh, uh, it's uh, uh, pretty regularly the, the enemies are coming, uh, so uh, the music doesn't really have to to be adaptive and to to react to it. Um, it is uh, just uh, changing uh, about uh, every minute. Uh, there is something more coming and building up. Um, for uh, each new wave. Okay, I see. And um, so now you are just grabbing some uh, stones, as I see, and we can already see the enemies coming through and there's fires everywhere. That's probably not good, is it? Uh, it's good because it's just the support of the tower who burn now. But uh, yeah, you can, um, you can burn the, the enemies as well as the... Um, yeah, well, this was uh, didn't burn, but she. It's good to have some flames in these games. The the only thing we don't need to burn is our tavern, and now it is okay. But probably not in a few minutes. <laughs> so now the first one is reaching the tavern, and that's bad. But uh, not just not too many may arrive there. Too many? No, no, it's okay. For, uh, no. Um, what's your question exactly? <laughs> so the, the goal is that the wasps do not reach the tavern, or at least not too many of them. Some is probably okay. Yeah, yeah. if uh, it's just one or two, it's uh, okay. You have a score at the end uh, will um, say uh, if you make a good defense or not, but we don't lose with uh, this, uh, this kind of tower. Probably we have uh, just one star, but uh, yeah, that's good. So, what kind of weapons do we have here? What kinds of? What kind of weapons do we have here? Uh, we have uh, bomb towers here, just throw bombs on a wasp. This is not the more efficient because it's for groups, um, gr groups of enemy, and we have a flame tower. 
uh, who burns the enemy and uh, wasp uh, um, have a sensibility with uh, with flame so it's probably the best tower for wasp but you can build other things of tower we can build electric tower or uh, arrow tower who have different capacity and is most efficient against a certain type of enemies so and how does the buildings work i mean you are building something right now how do you do it uh, we just upgrade the tower because uh, you can upgrade your tower for and uh, they will be more powerful and these uh, little things uh, you can see here is a um, uh, provider of bombs or fire bombs uh, i will probably have one now and i can throw on uh, the wasp like that and yeah this is really efficient so you can accept the, attack them individually but they cannot attack you uh, they can attack us but uh, i will show this The fire wasp will attack me, and yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I will. Um, I will be um, stunned. Stunned for for a time and eject like that. And we can't attack uh, them. Okay, and uh, can you place these towers anywhere? No, you have a construction site. Uh, this is. Uh, the most part of my work uh, on the studio to create some uh, lev levels, some maps with interesting uh, place for the construction site uh, and um, this is uh, limited you don't have, um, I don't know, in this map you just have uh, two towers so you need to really good um, um, uh, think of uh, what kind of tower we will build where because If you make a bad build, you probably lose. Yeah, of course, that makes uh, that makes sense. How do you know? I mean, what tactics are good? What? How do you know which tactics is the right? What's what are the um, what are the enemies like? Do they first need some kind of weapons to to weaken them, and then later another kind of weapon, or what you need to be successful? Uh, you need to be fast, <laughs> uh, build fast, and have uh, some upgrade tower before the enemy arrive. And uh, you need to communicate with your friend that we don't <laughs> do now <laughs> to uh, coordinate, uh, like uh, hey, go uh, to um, to the to the um, to the rocks. I need some stones, and I will give you some wood. And uh, yeah, you need to be really, really uh, organized to make a perfect score. So do you do you upgrade the existing towers or do you also just bu build uh, new ones? Uh, now we just can uh, upgrade, but on some maps it's probably more efficient to build some uh, uh, level one tower and to build uh, all the tower. And it depends uh, on the map, but here, um, as we just have two, tower, two uh, construction sites, it's better to upgrade a lot uh, your towers. Okay, I see. And um, then you have, do you have many like different uh, levels you have designed? Yeah, we have uh, actually, uh, we have 10 uh, playable levels, uh, but um, When the game will be finished, we probably have uh, something like 30 and with different biomes uh, and different enemies and different mechanics. Like um, here, there is nothing special, but we have a volcano uh, biome, we have a uh, Jesus, you can throw uh, uh, resources or throw you, and uh, yeah. You, we try to um, to make some unique levels uh, and don't uh, repetitive one just have the sensation to already play it. Okay, unfortunately we are quite on the time and the next people are already knocking on the door. So we must slowly come to an end. Um, with how many players can you play the game? 
you can play until four. You can play alone too, uh, but uh, it's uh, a one to four people, and you know you can only play uh, in local. But uh, in the future, you can play online with your friends. Uh, so yeah, it's like overcooked. In fact, uh, you can play alone, but it's the point is to play with your friends. Okay, and uh, what was the idea of protecting exactly a tavern? Projecting at what? Sorry? A tavern. Like, is there a story behind it? Why you thought you need to protect a tavern? Yeah, this is because this is dwarfs and uh, the dwarfs love beer and uh, need to have a tavern. That's all. That's like Mario need to have a princess, uh, the dwarfs need to have a tavern. <laughs> okay, I understand. And that's of course where the name comes from. Well, in that case, um, when is it, is it play is that game already out or when is it going to be released? Uh, we release a demo uh, on one or two weeks, uh, free demo on Steam, and uh, the full game will be released uh, on the Q1 uh, 2023. Okay, then thank you very much for your time. Uh, my last question is maybe publish the game content we've just recorded and the interview. Uh, thank you to uh, interview us. It's a pleasure to speak with you. <laughs> okay, and maybe publish everything we have recorded here. Uh, sorry? Maybe publish everything we have recorded here. Maybe put it up on our YouTube channel. The interview and the gameplay recording. Yeah, you can publish everything. Yeah. Th thank you.